Hey traders, it's Danielle. Welcome to the Simpler Options free video for Monday evening. So what are we going to be talking about today? Well, first of all, the market took quite a hit today, which led me to look for one thing, which was a relative strength that leads you to what a honey badger. What's a honey badger? Honey badger is a stock that doesn't care what the overall market is doing. What was my favorite honey badger today? Pfizer. Why Pfizer? Well, number one, the healthcare sector has remained very strong, even though we've seen quite a downtrend in the overall sectors in the S&Ps as well as the market. Healthcare is one of the few sectors that has remained resilient. And on top of that, you had stocks like Johnson & Johnson making new all-time highs on a day like today. So if you're going to buy anything, you have to focus on a honey badger. Why Pfizer? Now you may say, well, why buy Pfizer? Johnson Johnson was the one making highs. Well, first of all, Johnson Johnson's at Target, so we can't buy that now. What we can buy is Pfizer. Pfizer had a nice pullback to the 50 period simple. It also has a daily squeeze, and today I got my ready and fire buy signals. So I went ahead and added Pfizer to the long side via long calls, a butterfly, and I bought the stock in a long-term account. So let's go ahead and look at the charts, and I will show you exactly what I did with it and my parameters on the trade. All right, so looking at the chart here, I mean, you can see that clearly this is a really nice, solid trending chart higher. How do we quantify that? Well, you know, for the most part, we've had some green grab candles. You did have a little bit of chop in here uh, during the overall correction. But I mean, honestly, right now and today we came, we came up and we recovered the 50 period simple. We've got the squeeze, we've got a ready aim fire buy, we've got a VZO buy. Um, would it have been better to buy it a little bit lower? Yes, for sure. Only a little bit, not too much, maybe $2 lower. But at this point, you know, you've, you're recovering the moving averages and you have a trigger. So that's why I decided to go ahead and get into this today. If you look at the lower time frame charts, I mean, you can see that we've had some triggers here as well as here. All across the board, I mean, it just looks good. And you have a day where you've got the entire market just taking it on the chin, but yet you have Pfizer that's up a percent and a half. So, I mean, overall, that is very Honey Badger-esque. And then if we look at the rest of the sector, oops, sorry, XLV, there we go. You can see that this is also holding up relatively well as well. So looking at this here, I mean, I think it's a good spot to get in. Um, I don't have a daily squeeze on XLV, which I would like that, but you know, can't always get what you want, but at least overall the longer term setup, um, it's holding up well. And I like, I like the overall pattern. If you look at Johnson and Johnson, I do like Johnson and Johnson, of course, it's been very strong, um, but you know, it made new highs today. So we're not going to get into that here. Look at United Healthcare. United Healthcare um, is down after having a strong day on Friday. So honestly, it uh, might be a good time to look into United Healthcare again. So looking at the three of those, uh, I would pick Pfizer. If you look at Merck, this is another one that has been really strong. Uh, but again, this one's making new highs today, so we're not going to buy that here. So that just leads us back to Pfizer. And I think that it's had a nice strong setup here, and I think it's a good time to get in. So I'm targeting 46.93 and then 48.37 with a stop below these lows at 41.70. The trade that I decided to do on it was a combination of two things. We've got a long call, the December 21st. 43 call for about a dollar 87 and then I also got into this butterfly as you can see it's pretty much flat from where I got in it so you're still at a good entry point and I would still consider it for an entry tomorrow you have the trade parameters make sure you know you understand if this level breaks the trade is no longer valid that's 100 period simple and then you really don't want to get into it after it's above let's say 45 because at that point you're you're pretty close to your targets. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this free video. And if you want to see some more from us, go ahead and go to simplertrading.com join. 
and check out our various memberships. So we've got Foundation now. This is uh, for folks that just want a couple different trade ideas per week. And then, of course, we have our Options and Futures room for very active traders who like to jump in the trading room on a daily or weekly basis. So check it out, uh, and I'll see you in the trading room. Thanks, and good trading.